The title of this mini podcast is Different Scores. It can easily be argued that we are the sum total of our habits. Your behavioral routines determine what you do, and you're an amalgam of those repeated deeds. Indeed. But just like there are different ways to score your credit, there's another way to add up who you are. Subtraction. Habit patterns are addition. Many of them are no longer useful or productive, yet we still run them every day. We in our collected habits are one in the eyes of the beholder. They can't see the difference between the authentic you and the conditioned you. That's because they, too, have summed up that they are their habit patterns. In school, we learn addition first, so it's quite natural to assume it's the most important piece of life's math. But it's more foundational than it is important. We can't appreciate subtraction without first learning addition, sort of like not knowing down until we have a sense of up. Once we learn that we are not what we've added to ourselves, it's time to begin the process of subtraction. Subtraction takes you back to basics, back to an unadulterated you. Subtraction begins by noticing what's no longer working for you. Just like a comedian who made you laugh with jokes he told 20 years ago, those same jokes may now make you cringe. If he doesn't notice and keeps telling them, the joke's on him or her. What collective pieces of behavior are defining you? It's rather prudent to do an inventory. Some of those pieces are essential to functioning well in life. Hang on to those. Other pieces are just additional baggage. Those need a minus sign in front of them. Subtraction leads you back to you, a beacon of light that wants to shine through. Too much addition keeps the window to the soul covered over. Notice what additions are adding to your darkness and get curious about what no longer adds up. It seems counterintuitive at first, but subtraction adds to life score. All the best, John.